Why ain't nobody threw a party for Big Meech yet? <laughs> what the hell happened with <laughs> that him? That nigga out. That Big nigga Meech free. Got, no, slow down. Really? Big Meech is not free. No, it said he was released. I know. He's in he's in a halfway house until January of twenty twenty six. He's he's released from prison, yes, but he's in a halfway house. So Damn. he could come out during the day and he gotta be back there at night. No. The thing is when you go out during the day, it's on some like it's very restrictive. It's like on some like you got like you're going to work a job and shit like that. Something like that. So interesting. Um so it's not like I didn't even hear about that. Yeah, he got Cut released uh, See, I didn't hear that part. It was, I, it was yesterday or the day before yesterday. It was the day before yesterday. Um But yeah, so he's out, but he's not yeah, he's not out out yet. Yes, yeah, he. Yeah, they ain't they ain't specify that. They just was like, oh, he's free, and then I'm sitting there. I'm like, wait, yeah. if he's free, why you ain't got niggas pulling up like they did when um, that who the one nigga that got out, uh, when Bobby Spurrier got out, where they all pulled up with the bags of money. Yeah. Oh, this supposed to be this big parade. He's not there yet. Nigga Rick Ross was supposed to be pulling up to him. Nigga, hey, here goes some money for me using your name throughout the course of my career. You know, what's so funny is I saw something. LeBron posted a tweet saying, "Big Meech, I'm free." Like. Let's go. Mm-hmm. And then someone commented, was like, how could you support someone who supplied drugs to the community and was a killer of the youth and so on and so forth, blah, blah, blah. And I think LeBron ended up deleting the tweet. Did he really? Uh, but did he really kill the youth? Was that that that's not what he did? I mean, if the you're drugs so, can if kill you, the youth. if you're supplying, if you're drug supplying, I guess you are kind of contributing to contributing that. to. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, God, I. I I don't know. I, I and I and I'm only going based off of things that I've read. I'm going based off the series I watched. Granted, the series isn't. Uh, fit, it's probably about fifty percent accurate of what the shit that actually happened. But the way they portray him in the series is they weren't actually out there like shooting people and doing all of that all the time. I'm not talking. They about were that. more so selling <laughs> drugs to people. And then I'm saying if you're saying if you're selling any type of crazy narcotics of any sort, you know what I'm saying pills. I'm not talking about weed, by the way. Well, I guess like pills. You know what I'm saying? What Hard drugs, you, cocaine, or I don't know, fucking heroin, whatever it is. I would say, if, if anything, what do you classify as the youth? What age range? Anything under 18. Yeah, I don't believe he... he. If anything, he was supplying them with the drugs to sell to the other niggas. He wasn't actually selling to, like, 18-year-olds. He was selling to people in their 20s. Them the, them the niggas that was really hooked on drugs. People in their 20s, 30s, like, older people. There's definitely plenty of kids out there who are hooked on drugs. I'm not saying they aren't. I'm saying back then, I feel like his target was mm-hmm. people our age. It don't matter who your target audience is when you're a drug dealer. But I'm saying that's who he was I'm selling saying, to majority like, of the time. You can't, you can't post ad, ads, you know, trying to go to towards a specific audience. If any, but I'm saying if anything, what was killing the, the youth was they was killing each other, not the drugs. They were shooting each other. Nigga from Detroit, they were shooting and killing each other. They didn't need the drugs to kill each other. I, I think I get what you're trying to say, but so like for them to say, oh, he supplied, he you know he's killing the youth. Like, eh, was he really though? Yes. Nah, I don't. I don't believe. I don't believe he was killing the youth. I believe yes. things in that city. If were you killing are, the youth. if you are selling drugs, you are. I'm not saying you are directly like, yo, I'm. You're strictly con- just killing youth, but you are contributing to the downfall of a particular group of people the in detriment. a society. You are whether it's. Whether it's a now, if you whether put it's five percent of them or fifty percent. Now, if of you them. put it that way, if you put the detrimental, uh, like killing people, particularly black and, people and, and the, the black community, he, it, he he contributed in the killing of black the people in the community. That. But no, I wouldn't put it towards the youth because youth is would be false. Black people in the black community, yes, he was killing a black community by selling drugs to that community. That is a fact. But the youth, no, I don't. I, I I can't say that's fact. You are indirectly killing youth. Yes, when you are even if you're even if you're even if you are selling to adults. <clears> no, but, break, but I'm saying crack, crack baby. But, yeah, I'm saying, but what I'm saying is the word like it, it's it's like the wording of it is like misleading because I'm, he wasn't killing the youth. He was killing black people in the community, not necessarily just the youth. He was killing everybody. If you want to put it that way, the drugs was killing everybody, not just the youth. So that's why I say it's misleading. It has to be the black community. He killed the he was killing the black community, and the youth just so happened to be involved potentially. Word it however, that. word it however. But I'm saying you want. the wording. Okay. I'm saying the wording of the tweet is incorrect. That's word, what I'm saying. Word it however you want. The nigga was contributing to the detriment of hey, families. It'd be like that. Children. That's, that's black, white. I don't know whoever. That's the conclusion. It'd be like that sometimes. And that's kind of what it was. Nigga, he had to make money to get by. Shit, that's just what he did. Oh, he oh, he got by. And in the process, the nigga lost friends. The nigga lost a lot of people. So, I mean, yeah, he may have 
contributed or whatever that is, but he lost people in the process. You ain't got no job and you ain't got shit to do.